Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new case of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Well, welcome back everyone. Today is yet another Hot Wheels Monster Trucks review. And honestly, it has been very difficult to get to this point, this this video specifically because this case has been so difficult to find. Uh, I was given these two trucks by Bernie Ripper Toy Company. You guys can check them out on Instagram and eBay. And then I found this invader uh, in stores. I actually had to battle a scalper to get to it. He was trying to take it with some other colored tire trucks and a huge pile of Hot Wheels cars. Um, but when he turned around, I just kind of snatched it off the pile. Um, so anyway, I think it went to a better purpose uh, than just being resold on eBay like it has been a lot. By the way, I do have like green mark on my hand. That's what that is. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I had to get it from a scalper um, or I took it from a scalper so he couldn't sell it for more money. Um, so that's how I got this one. But these two I had to get from Bernie Rob Toy Company because I never saw them in stores. Uh, and it's been really difficult for me to find Hot Wheels monster trucks um, because All Beefed Up was stuck in the stores for a long time. So it's kind of just slowly began to move again, the pegs. Um, so finally we're getting a little bit of movement, but not much in there in that department for Hot Wheels monster trucks. Also, I have no idea what case this is. I forget by now. So I will put in the title of the video, but I have no idea what case we're talking about because I've so far behind on Hot Wheels monster trucks. So we're gonna start here. Uh, what comes first on the card? Uh, we'll start with Invader and then we'll move our way through and I'll show you guys the repeat trucks. Um, here's Invader. You can see there's the back Invader, Abysmal, Pure Muscle, Demo Derby, Dodge, Charger RT, Chassis Snapper, Locopunk, Test Subject, and Skeleton Crew. Only three new trucks in this case. And the more recent cases have actually only been one new truck per case. So it's been a little bit um, kind of going down in new releases. You can see here the name is Invader. The truck type is City. The strength is Long Range Cannon. The crash attack is Big Kaboom. And the motivation is to do a bang up job. So that's Invader. Uh, and we're going to open it right now. So you might notice this weird paint job with Invader. Uh, first off, this is meant to be a tank. This is a tank casting that the Hot Wheels actual car uh, line uses. This is their, I guess it's called Invader. I have no idea, but uh, this is their tank. Uh, but you might notice this weird coloration pattern and these blue tires. So basically a quick history lesson on this specific design. This was a World War II design used on um, big ocean liner ships. So basically, uh, you guys probably know the story of the Titanic. Its sister ship, the Olympic, RMS Olympic, used this design during World War II after it was commissioned by the Royal Navy, I believe, for British uh, war service. So basically, they painted Olympic this striped pattern to help camouflage it on the water. I will post a picture on screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is what they kind of went after for camouflage effect on a tank. Hot Wheels decided to make a uh, 1940s style camouflage ship look. So you can see here this zebra pattern. This is a specific design used in the Second World War. And you can see here these blue tires basically is supposed to be a ship on top of water. And I guess it's like seaweed or something. But uh, you can see here very interesting design. Uh, probably a lot of people did not know that. I used to know a lot about Titanic and stuff. So this is something I kind of knew right away when I saw it, what was happening. And I thought it was pretty cool, but it does not work on this specifically, I think. If they had like a boat casting, that would look awesome. But I'm not sure how I like it on Invader. So you can see here the details of the zebra pattern. Again, randomized, it stops in weird spots. That's how the real thing was, the real camouflage pattern. So you can see here all the zebra stripes, Hot Wheels Moss Trucks logo. They very rarely change the color, so they did on this truck for the Moss Trucks logo. Here's the roof, and here's this side. And of course the blue uh, tires with the green rims. So that's Invader, yellow connecting crash car, and here's this little name tag. So. Pretty cool, interesting design from that era. Um, very cool that they actually made that and thought of that, but applying it to the actual truck didn't work well. And then next up is Abysmal, the next dairy delivery truck to be released of the Monster Myths 405. And uh, pretty cool, so let's open it up. Uh, let's actually look at the name first. You can see here the name is Abysmal, the truck type is City, the strength is grabbing tentacles, the crash tech is Octo Clutch, and the motivation is to sink the other trucks. So this is yet another squid uh, Kraken style truck. We have, of course, the real Kraken. We have Spin Master and Monster Jam's Octonator. And now we have Abysmal. So here we go. And here it is, the Abysmal by Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Of course, here's the little thing, the insert card, and we got the connecting crash car. And then, of course, the truck itself. Mine has a huge chip on the beadlock, but that's okay. Uh, you can see here, 
A uh, nice dairy delivery uh, casting. I love the dairy deliveries, but I'm not sure if this one works just as good as the other ones did. I prefer the uh, Ringmaster from 124 scale for the dairy deliveries this year. Uh, but you can see here the giant squid on the top, some flames on it. Um, kind of got its tentacles going all over the truck. Good matching on the side here. They usually don't match up really well, but it did match up on the side uh, disconnect here. Uh, you can see here the tentacles with some movement, some pink uh, abysmal on a map style um, writing here. And you can see here uh, the Hot Wheels logo getting kind of squished by the tentacle. And um, here's the other side. And you can see here some something going on up there. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, there's some kind of like squid kraken thing coming out of the water here. I'm not sure why that's there. It kind of looks kind of strange. But uh, you can see here these dots kind of like a map. Uh, all these different things kind of like X marks the spot. So treasure map style kind of uh, look here with the abysmal logo. Split paint job, of course. And then uh, here's the back. Abysmal. And then it says, beware the seven seas right there in this little emblem. Uh, I wish they would have had the X on the truck itself, like X marks the spot. They don't. It just has these map markings. Uh, so I would have preferably put like a little X somewhere on the truck if I was designing it. You can see here a dark navy blue roll cage with these orange and red beadlock rims. So there it is, abysmal, no grill printing, and that's uh, pretty cool. So again, not my favorite of the dairy delivery trucks or designs so far by Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, but it's still pretty cool to see it, a blue dairy delivery. And the final new truck is the Demo Derby's Pure Muscle. One of my favorite Demo Derbies so far. I'm still waiting on the actual Town Hauler Demo Derby, which is of course the real Demo Derby that runs in real life. This is three of five. The next Demo Derby to be released is Invader. Uh, it's a green tank this time. It has the mouth like a V8 bomber. So it does not look like this anymore. It looks like an actual tank. But this is the next Demo Derby, three of five. Let's open it up. Actually, let's take a look at the back real quick. Uh, so the stats are the same as normal Pure Muscle, but you can see here, name Pure Muscle. Truck type is pickup. The strength is raw V8 power. The crash attack is strong arm scramble, and the motivation is to leave them feeling weak. So here we go, Pure Muscle Demo Derby right now. So here's the insert card. You can see here some scribbles, uh, and then of course the cr connecting crash car, and um, the Pure Muscle truck itself. Uh, pretty cool design for the tires. I like the white, I like the pink red and then of course this like radioactive uh symbol here the uh, radioactive symbol kind of painted in green and of course you get the side panel with the neon paint the hot wheels logo monstrux logo 99 crossed out some mismatched panels uh the front grill looks like v8 bomber with the teeth and of course you get the 99 up here with the hot wheels logo and the two stripes down the middle hot wheels kind of handwritten on the side here i like that I really do and of course the hand drawn flames with some more spray paints, um, some kind of gray spray paint there as well. Hot Wheels logo again, and the stripes continue down the back uh, with 99 and Hot Wheels. And of course a black chassis, orange roll cage, and like I said, the rim colors are mismatched as well. Uh, not bad, I like this one, but it's not my favorite. I think Demo Derby definitely will be my favorite of this year once it gets released in summertime, actually pretty much pretty soon. So red windshield as well. And uh, that's it for the new stuff. So those are the new trucks. And then we have some old stuff returning, such as Chassis Snapper, Dodge Charger RT with the red. We also have Test Subjects coming back for the first time this year in the 2019 releases. Uh, and we have Loco Punk again. And then the last new truck is, of course, Skeleton Crew. So that will conclude the next case of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks review. Again, I'm not sure what case this is. I will put in the title of the video once I find out. Uh, it's been a kind of a crazy thing with Hot Wheels since I can't find them. Uh, I lose track of the cases, but it will be in the title. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Ryan from Monster Jam OCD, signing out.